teacups, what's brewing? How are you? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I've had such a good couple of days. Just, you know, when things just go well. I um, did a deep clean of my apartment yesterday. I like moved out all my furniture to be able to clean under like the table that I'm filming on right now. Um, if I'm out of whack in my usual setup, I think it looks about like it usually looks now, but I moved everything. Then I was like, oh, nothing's right now but I completely moved this table over. I cleaned all the floor underneath it because usually I just kind of sweep and get my brush in, but I don't always get everything. And uh, I like shampooed my living room rug. I did the proper deep cleaning. It was amazing. It felt so good. So my apartment's lovely because I am traveling day after tomorrow. So today I need to print out, I need to do my online check-in. I need to print out all my papers. Uh, my re-entry stuff, my proof of vaccine, that kind of thing. I don't need to get PCR tests because it's open between uh, Saudi Arabia and the UK provided you're, you're vaccinated and you have your booster shots. So I have all those, but I just need to print off proof that I have all those. So it should be easy enough. Uh, so I'm gonna do that after this and I'm just gonna look at my suitcases, see what size I wanna take. I'm not going for very long, but I might bring some stuff back. So. Just checking that out, but I've got a day or two. The only thing I've still got to do in the house is um, I've got a bit more laundry to do, but I'm limited by, I don't have a dryer. I have one of those racks. We call them a clothes horse where I come from in the UK, but even within the UK, there are different names for it, but I guess just like a, a drying rack. But I've only got one of those, those things that fold out and you put clothes on. Um, but because I'm doing bed sheets right now, it just fills the entire space. So I'm gonna be doing like loads of laundry. Uh, just for the sheets because that's how much space I've got to dry them in so I'm probably going to keep doing that for a day or two but doing really well I got some great news from my new job I had misunderstood part of the um the visa process so in the last few jobs I've had that have involved the the country of the school doing the requirements for me beforehand they get it all of it ready it essentially goes into some kind of folder and then I turn up at the embassy and I ask for a work visa and they check the folder, it's all been approved and it goes through and something gets put in my passport. And you, if you remember, if you were with me in my last video, I was saying how I'm now probably not going to be staying for the whole summer in the UK. I'll visit briefly, but I won't be there for the whole summer. Uh, so I was worried because I need my school in the new place to, um, just to okay me getting the visa here because I wasn't sure when we got it and they said mid-July um, so I was like okay well can I just go to the consulate here and actually I'd entirely misunderstood and what they actually do is I can't apply because it's a work visa they receive the work visa on their end they send me a copy which I'm guessing I print and I just go through with that document. So nothing goes into my passport, which is quite unusual based on my previous experience. So I'll have that document and I'm guessing when I get there, I'll give it my passport and it'll be processed and I'll have something in to show that I'm, a, I'm an employee or a permanent resident or whatever it is. I have a residence card for here, but I also have like an entry stamp in my passport, but apparently this document takes the place of that. So the great news for that is I don't have to be in any particular place for that to happen because they're getting it and it's just being sent to me. And that can be done via email, so it doesn't matter, which is just such a relief because that means I can stay here and it's not gonna cause any issues with my visa stuff. And when I leave here, I go back to the UK for a short time, it's already ready, I don't have to worry about it. So it's such good news, you know, and just, you know that gif of uh, The Simpsons where it's like, everything's coming up Millhouse. That's how I felt for the last two days. So really pleased with that. I will have to get the police check redone as I was anticipating I would. But other than that, things just going well, a little bit calmer, a little, like a few less moving parts to worry about. I'm still waiting for confirmation from my school, but we're currently on vacation. But there's no reason for them to give me any trouble about staying longer. So all good so far. I'm not good. Turn around three times and spit on my behalf. Thank you. <laughs> So we're coming back in with Foodie Beauty today. Um, I've got Just Sayings cut down. I did have, I didn't watch her original of eating because it seemed a little bit boring, but the cut down is much easier to take. And I had downloaded the original of the Harveys uh, driving through the night mukbang. 
uh, because I had a feeling she'd delete it, but actually the part where she talks about Nadra and stuff is quite short, so I've just got Just Sayings short, which is about a minute long, which we can watch after this because really it was the only relevant thing in that video. And uh, this shouldn't be too, too long. I've only got about five minutes cut down out of this, so let's get started. I'm like, is this all from you too? I don't know who all this is from. It's like all these little things, cute things. This video either starts, or this, this part of it starts, someone has sent her some more gifts through the post. I mean, are people seriously still sending her stuff? The way she treats the man. Also, uh, with her volume, last time for some reason when I exported the video, her volume was super low. I have got her maxed out at the moment, so fingers crossed that won't be a thing anymore, but apologies for how the audio changed uh, last time, because when I increase her, I also increase me, so I was quite loud and she was just normal. <laughs> we are where we are. Uh, but I don't know who's still sending her stuff. Can I just say, I, why would you do this? This is from you too? <laughs> like, oh, that's so cool. Oh my god, these are eye... Okay, these are eyelashes. What? I would say, oh, come here. Come Isn't back, come back. I'm trying to show people things. Isn't this the coolest thing? That little tin of the suitcase is freaking adorable. Good job, whoever did that. Like, the eyelashes I can I can give or take, but uh, take or leave. Is that correct? Is that the correct phrase I'm thinking? I think. I think that's what I mean. But the little suitcase tin, come on now, that is cute. Like ever. Oh my god. It's so cool. Did I need one of these? Really? Thank you. Need it for my OnlyFans shoot tonight. No, By the way, let's go sign up for my OnlyFans. You're not gonna want to miss. With the OnlyFans, um, she is actually like the content that I've seen disseminated on Twitter has been horrific. <laughs> but it seems like she's putting stuff out there, whatever you think of it. So she's gone one step further than she did before, at least. At least whoever, God, whoever is paying for that. But whoever's paying for that, at least is getting something for their money. <laughs> it's gonna be really cool. <clears throat> I should do a promotion. It's a toothbrush. I mean, the amount of stuff she lets build upon her teeth, I suppose it could be at this point. It's they're designed for scraping. Proof <laughs> scratcher! This is cute! Uh, it's, it's a, you know what? I see a tool, you see one use. Scraping cake batter. You can do a lot more than scrape cake batter with this. In my head, I'm just going, yeah, you can scrape all kinds of things and now i hate my brain <laughs> shut up brain i don't like it <laughs> oh look at this pretty pretty hat guys before she puts it on her head can i just say it is freaking hideous all right let's call a spade a spade it is hideous oh my goodness it's what so is... gorgeous no it's not look at it Yes, wow. Or does it go the other way? Let me see. It's so pretty. I freaking love it. Oh my gosh. No, it's a no from me. The only possible little point I could give it is if she were doing another 1920s moment, which I would love, uh, that kind of short black hair turban look that, that was a goer then, like that I could see it in as kind of a costumey piece for that. I would accept it, but just as a day-to-day -day thing, no, nah, no, this is a no. Isn't it nice? I think it goes this way, right? I don't like it. It's pretty, I love it. Look at all these. I don't need to, it's her stuff, she's wearing it, she needs to be happy with it, and good for her, but mm, no. Earrings, various hoop earrings, which will- These, come back, come back, I need to see the picture, okay. She shows a few earrings in this, in this haul, I guess. I think at some point she said she bought some of these. Maybe I'm wrong. These are in a plastic bag, so maybe it's fine. But usually earrings come on a little cardboard thing to show they're new. If you just got a random plastic bag of earrings from an internet stranger, however kindly intended, would you necessarily want to put them in your ears? Because to me, not being on the cardboard says probably not new, and they're pierced earrings. Like, I don't, I don't think I would want to risk 
that being a shared item, I don't think I'd want to. Various hoop earrings, which will make me look like a nice... Yeah, matching my earrings, I know. <laughs> and these will make me look like a friggin' uh, fortune teller. Fortune teller bees. Oh, these are so cute. See these? I love these. Like, I, I don't love them, but I, I don't have any strong feelings about them. Um, these are on, like, cardboard, it's fine. Like, you, you can tell these are newly bought. But used earrings? They might not be used, I might be overthinking it, but... Thank you so much. Oh my god! Aww, that's me. And this is my next unknown, unknown lover. I couldn't see that hugely well, but the, the shape of them and then, like, I think they were like an enamel. They looked quite pretty. I wish I could have seen them more clearly without her talking, touching over it, but they seem nice. This I is- I her too white. <laughs> That's cool. I don't. That's... Do you need the reminder? Apparently she does, but yeah, I don't like it. Cute. I could give it points for the kind of vintage feel of it. Let's, let's be positive. Uh... <laughs> I can't wait to put that in my bathroom. I think it's just the fact that it's foodie and all the connotations of wiping with her. I'm just like, mm, no. I need food. I'm gonna call you a kind of cheeseburger. No, I don't block you guys often. Uh, excuse you. It's like a rare occasion. Give me a break. If you couldn't hear over the rustling she was doing, which I think she was doing deliberately because she wasn't making eye contact because she knows this is all shit. She doesn't block people often, you guys. Give her a break. It's rare. <laughs> Come on now. We all know better. Come on now. You know what you did. We're not in a hotel with the kitchenette. Actually, Actually I'm actually a little bit worried because I haven't, he hasn't been online. Like, for real. What? This nonsense. Apparently, supposedly, according to her, they have no contact. Why would you need to be worried that there's been no sign of him if you you don't usually stay in contact with him? And you know, she's claimed, although didn't she get caught watching his stream at one point, but she's claimed that she, um, she doesn't watch his streams. I feel like she got caught at some point. And you know, of course she does. We know she does. But why, why would you be worried about that? It doesn't affect you. I'm like giggling for nothing. Because you're lying. <laughs> you laugh because you're uncomfortable, because you're talking about a subject that you know, if not an outright lie, is at least skirting a few other lies you've told. That is why you're giggling. Like, for real, though. For God. real. I swear to God. <laughs> it's nothing to do, but I'm just not going to look at you for a minute. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, because I was going to be like, oh my God, why are you worrying? Well, I don't know. Who started his new job? I want people to be like in pain or suffering. So here's the thing, yeah? I don't want people to be in pain or suffering. And if you disagree with that and my empathy for the human state that allows me to sit here worrying, definitely for, for none of the reasons I've mentioned before, definitely not because I want to be with him still about this man I reported for SA and, and the state of him and his health and if he's hurt, then really aren't you the asshole? And anyway, so I hope everyone's okay. Also bear in mind, this is the same woman that was lying on her bed in that black wig saying, no, Dee Dee deserves it because she's seen everything that happened. So I'm not worried about Dee Dee because if she, assume, we presume, gets abused, um, then, you know, she deserves what she gets because she's been new. Same woman, same woman. Just just keep the two, the two parts of her personality closely entwined, okay? Because, you know, the one she's presenting now, no, I just can't stand people being hurt, really. Hello, you guys. Can you believe me? No. That was not funny. I don't want anything bad to happen to anybody. Yeah. But Dee Dee deserves it. But to anybody, to anybody that, you know, I actually care about, even though frequently I am the driving force into what what might be damaging to them. But, you know, I don't want anyone to get hurt, no matter how I insult you guys, no matter what my actions show. I'm saying right now, my concern is purely 
altruistic for the entirety of the human race. Don't you feel that way? Don't you feel I'm that ready. way? Are you really that kind of asshole that doesn't feel that way? Being in the kitchen? I hate the kitchen. That kitchen is under the thickest layer of cardboard cat feces and other filth that you will ever see, I tell you now. When she turns and she's like, I hate the kitchen. I'm betting you can't even see the floor of that kitchen right now. We're going on a late night road trip tonight. For my OnlyFans. Again, it's for OnlyFans. I don't know what's come up on her OnlyFans. I do know that she had the drive back where she had Harvey's um, on her channel, and that's all I know. But interestingly enough, Nada seems to be missing in action, and we're gonna go on a long drive. <laughs> but definitely for OnlyFans. Let me control you, and I'll exploit you, bend you over, but she don't start actually kind of Nope. All of this food is not for anybody who has severe gastric distress problems. Very true. As my gift to you, I cut out the myriad of burps she did during this. Like, my god, girl is gassy today. I'm actually like completely sober. <laughs> Just really giggly, I don't know why. Mm. Mm, I don't know why, because you're lying. You are lying or uncomfortably close to an untruth, either current or past. Are you guys ready for the road trip tonight? We're going on a road trip, it's a surprise for my OnlyFans shoot. Mm -hmm. I'm still gonna unpack my sh Swear to god, if she doesn't OnlyFans in the in the outhouse, I swear to god. <laughs> I don't need to see that on my Twitter timeline. Get from Cuba. Well, if I keep everything packed, I won't have to worry about the next vacation. I can just wear filth. I can wear the dirty, sweaty clothes that have been sitting in my case for however many months between trips. <laughs> Can we hotel be there? Um, um, let's see. She has no idea because the trip is for Nada and OnlyFans is a side thing. <laughs> Aries is not my favorite zodiac sign. I hate being an Aries. I swear her. You literally have a tattoo. You've been wearing Aries charms on your fingers. What are you talking about? For me, a gift. I don't care how much money somebody spends on it. Oh, this. That's the thought, you know? The, the thought. <laughs> okay, the cat. The cat thing that he bought her, supposedly, or she bought herself. Here's the thing. If he actually had, we would have seen it so long before now. The moment he gave it to her, there would have been pictures on Instagram. It would have been up on her channel because it would have been proof of love. So for it to suddenly be, oh no, he bought me this a long time ago. Either it's really fucking recent or she's bought it herself. But no way would she have received something that could be interpreted as a love token and we wouldn't have, have seen it already. No way. And at the time, I thought it was the sweetest thing ever. At the time, two days ago. It's not worth much, but it has sentimental value. I want to hug your neck, you look sad. Well, yeah. Watch her lean into this. Now, like, she's like, oh, you look sad. Oh, yeah, people, people tend to pay when they seem, yeah, yeah, my mental health, things are hard. Yeah, yeah, I'm sad. Uh, I think I'll be sad for a little while. Yeah. Plus, Over just, this like, man, I reported. Like, worried. <laughs> she's worried about him. She's worried about him because she worries about humanity. Well, like I said, I don't want, like, no matter what, I don't want anything bad to happen to anybody. Except you. Know, like, yeah, like, he hasn't been online for a long time. I'll leave you if I know. I swear to God she will do this. And actually, we're going to talk about it after the short, but this is what I think happened while she was offline or between things or whatever. I think at some point she did try to contact Dee Dee, and you know Dee Dee wants that apology. She's not having any of it. Or she tried to maybe go see Nada direct or whatever it was, and things haven't worked out. And we'll talk about it a bit more once we show the short. You don't have to wish bad on Nada, right? But worrying about him is feeding into your addiction. I know. No, that's not true. That's not true. It's not because, it's not that keeping me in the way. It's not Dee Dee keeping me in the way. Okay, so it's not Dee Dee keeping her away, which is like what, what I think she was saying. Um, yeah, then she's going directly to Nada, and Nada's like, nah, none of it. Like, remember, like, if he's got this new job and he's moved in with Dee Dee, yeah, she's a good source of income, but he doesn't need her need her the way he might have when he was still in Gatineau and they were still going back and forth before Dee Dee entered the picture. 
he, like he swung onto the next branch. He's, he's holding on, but he's got paws on both branches. He's pretty much safe at the moment. Uh, so this is where, you know, all the talk we've had about depression and mental health. I know I'm just on my medication. Things are hard. And she's just been generally lower. This is what I think this is feeding into. I think the things that I said I think are happening behind the scenes. I don't think they're going the way she wants them to go. We're bored enough to entertain you guys. I know. Well, tonight we will. So I'll post a keep an eye out for the community tab. And I'll see you guys a bit later, okay? Okay, so that was the end of that one. I do have like a one minute short also downloaded from um, from Just Saying, which has come from her next live, which was The Hardies, where she just addresses this really quick. Uh, we'll watch it now because it is so short and then I'll, I'll go into thoughts. Oh yeah, so I know a lot of people, so I'll just say this and then I pretty much don't want to talk about or think about Natter, D, Machine, any of that fucking shit the rest of my life, okay, if I don't... She's very sped up, sorry. If I don't have to, that will help me out a lot. If I, if I can just like avoid him in every way. So <clears throat> I know a lot of people think like I'm like with him or talking to him or whatever. And I'm absolutely, completely just done. He's with, he's living with Dee or whatever. I don't know what, what he's doing. Saying whatever, I don't know. He's, as far as I know, in Lachine, with her, I have no idea. So that's all I know. I, I like your guess is as good as mine, honestly, where he is at this point. Um, yeah, it's not in my trunk, but I can't people do that. Um, I'm just like emotionally drained and... Yeah, I'm just don't want to like think about or talk about the both ever. Like, I'm sick of them. So... Yeah. Okay, so that was basically the short. That's all really the relevant information in in the entire one which is why we're not reacting to to the harveys but basically she's done and and there we go so what i think has happened we talked last time about her speaking about things that are legal legal shit that was going on behind the scenes i think whatever that is has resulted in nada being like nah at the moment at the very least so she's currently in like breakup mode where she's sort of depressed and and she's like oh no we, you know, we can't be together and no I'm gonna mourn it for a while and I'm grieving it and all of that and in here she was like oh yeah I don't I don't want to I don't want to talk about them again whatever you know how she goes through these periods where she's like no it is actually done I think whatever the legal thing was behind the scenes was serious enough that they now can't get around it so whether it's just an act on his part and him being like nah nothing for her it's kind of the same wherever it's coming from if it means no i can't be in contact and this is where i think this is what i think she's been doing i think she has um behind the scenes been trying to contact them and she did say if you believe her that Didi wasn't stopping it but she's always ready to blame Dee Dee. So if it were Dee Dee, I think we would hear about it. I think she'd be angrier about it. But I feel like maybe because of the legal stuff going on behind the scenes, maybe because it's hit a different point and they're dealing with it. Maybe Nada has been like, nah, not right now. Like, because she does seem to be in a point where she can't be in contact with him and that's what's causing the mourning and the, the low mental energy and, and the depression. Because before, and I believe it's been very recent that they've been in contact, yeah? Before she was talking about it normally, but she wasn't going through these kind of depressive acts. If you can call them acts, you can argue how much of her depression is real or not. Um, I think some, something has changed recently. And so we're seeing her go through all her stages again, yeah? So that's what I think is happening at the moment. Why it's happening, how it's happening, what's causing it to happen, I don't know. But I 100% think she's been trying to contact them. I think a lot of the stuff we've been talking about recently, the old text message, the the stuffed toy, um, I think they are all kind of recent conversations that she's claiming she hasn't had with them. And uh, I think she's sad because she she can't, get the fix of him that she wants at the moment so anyway that's where we are that's what i think she's doing and i guess i will see you next time nice and short today all right bye bye everybody